Hello, welcome to the show. My name is Noel DeBona. Today we're going to go into and dive into when to run for public office or should you wait or should you run early, be aggressive. You know, we, we, we always say, you know, the old school mentality was, hey, listen, you have to wait your turn. There's certain incumbents in there. They've done their time. They got their experience. They're older. They're veterans. Then there's a new wave of people out there that want to take a shot at these people saying, you know what, I'm going against the status quo. You've been in office a little too long. It's time for new blood. It's time for fresh new ideas and people are coming into um, you know, elections and taking on these longtime incumbents. Let's, let's look at the presidential elections of the last two um, presidents. 2008, Barack Obama. Did he wait his turn? I hate to tell you, he, he stole it from Hillary Clinton in 2008 as, as a senator uh, from Illinois for eight years. He says, you know what? I'm going to get my slogan out there, change, we can believe in. That was his main slogan that he really identified to the voters. Got through the primary election in 2008 against Hillary Clinton, which was the, the favorite to win that race. Went on and obviously beat John McCain in the final election. Ran for re-election uh, four years later against Mitt Romney. Changed it a little bit. We can believe. Um, we're not done yet. And he continued with his slogans. But there was a person that just didn't wait his turn. He took it. Uh, he took the ball and he ran with it. So, and then you, and then you, and then you say to yourself, um, if he didn't, you know, a lot of people will contradict what you what you want to do. They'll say, wait a minute, you're supposed to wait your turn. But if you wait your turn, somebody else might take it from you. So. I think today, in 2018, we're going into 2019, I think the things are starting to change and, the, and it's evolving into you got to take your chance now and if you don't, you're going to lose your opportunity to take it. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit more today about uh, the whole synopsis of uh, when, to, when to run, how to run, should you be aggressive, should you sit back, um, getting back really to Donald Trump and make America great again. Um, you know, a businessman, a person that uh, did an apprentice show, uh, was able to articulate his message. Whether you like him or disagree or don't like him or, or do like him, he was able to win an election, U.S. presidential election. So you're looking at Barack Obama and Donald Trump over the last uh, 12 years uh, of being now elected. And you're like, wow, look at this. Look at the landscape that has happened um, throughout, the, throughout, the, throughout the United States. And it can happen in any race that you want to do locally, statewide, or US-wise, um, you know, globally. Um, I don't know what you're thinking about. If you're watching this today, you're thinking about maybe possibly running. And um, I can tell you that um, it's going to require some time. It's going to require energy, a commitment, and a sacrifice that you're going to need to put in for these races. Um, I, I, would, I would suggest to anyone looking for a race is to look at the landscape. A start, you know, are there any big issue to in high topics and um, is there any incumbents out there taking some bad votes that you don't agree with? Is, is there things going on locally that you just don't feel comfortable with? And, you, and you're saying to yourself, you know what? I know I can do a better job and, and I'm going to take it uh, and I'm, I'm going I'm to look at a race and I'm going to run for it. Um, look at the landscape, maybe do some polling, maybe ask around, see what the consensus are uh, locally. Um, you know, uh, uh, Tip O'Neill used to say it the best. He says, all politics is local. Um, a lot of politicians start at a different race, lower or a local race, and they eventually move up the ladder if they like politics. They get their feet wet with, with different boards. They get their feet wet with, with lower elections to see if they even like this type of business. Because once you step into the business, you're, you're a public, you're a public service um, you're, you're out in front of the public and uh, a lot of people like to start off small. So I would suggest to you, whether you've run before uh, and lost or run for the very first time you're looking at a race, is a start of a smaller race. See if you even like campaigning because there's, there's a governing side and there's a campaigning side. And they're, they're, they, they mush up a little bit together, but at the, at the end of the day, they're very, very different. They're very different two components of how do you articulate the message to the voter and get people out to vote and how do you govern, uh, what type of votes you take, what stances you are. Um, those are all things that you're going to have um, compiled up on, on your list. Um, but I, I can tell you right now, the new wave of 2018 is 
Uh, people are looking for the new blood. Um, they're sick of the status quo. Um, they want change. They want fresh new ideas. Um, and you know, I, I think back at Barack Obama and how he articulated his message. And whether you like him or dislike, you liked him or disliked him. Just look at the fact of how he presented himself. Look how he does a speech. If you if you look back and you you can YouTube this, you can look back at some of the speeches that he has. He is precise, precision, very well tailored. Um, has the look very slender. He's always working out. He's always running. He looks the part, um, and he could speak very very well. And he articulated that message to the voters in 2008, and it overtook Hillary Clinton. Um, and, and look at Hillary Clinton, and she come, tries to come back uh, and, and against Donald Trump in 2016, and she's not able to, 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 to absorb what happened in eight. Um, and then, you know, here, here we are today in, in 2018, we're, we're 10 years later from the Obama uh, uh, surge. And uh, that's the norm out there in, in a lot of local, local politics as well, as people just aren't happy with maybe their taxes, or they're not happy with some of the votes at the state house, or... Um, they're just not happy with the people in office or maybe they've stayed there a little too long and that's your opportunity that you can look at certain races and see where you can go to to get to there. Um, but you know you got to talk it over with obviously your, your family members, uh, your spouse, your significant uh, other. Um, you want to talk it over with your friends and if you're going to take, you're going to dive into this taking a race or, or looking at one, I would suggest that you, you have five to ten people that you can look to to help you with your race. If you can get those five or ten people um, to help you um, mount a little small army um, to help you with your campaign, it'll be huge. That would be the starting point to evolve yourself into running for an election. Now, I've done some prior shows on volunteering when you can look on uh, the bottom of our screen here um, and, and you, can, you can look up and you can, you can look at my other YouTube videos that have done other things about volunteering building a resume and all these different uh, criteria that you need to have to to get yourself ready for a race um, but you know other electeds uh, if you're watching this other electeds are always looking to move up the ladder they're always looking for higher office and and how do you how do you strategically um, uh, map out when you're going to take that risk to, to run for the higher offices sometimes in a lot of elections um, some of the people that are in office now can actually run for elections and if they lose they can keep their seats and that's happening a lot um, throughout throughout the states um, uh, throughout the uh, throughout the United States that uh, and locally that a lot of people other electeds can run for other seats and if they lose they can stay in the seat um, and then there's also other electeds that are saying you know it's time um, to move out of my seat I've done it for eight years it's time to move on and they know that hey listen you know what if I don't get out of my seat now and run for another office or run for a higher seat, people may say, hey, listen, I've been sitting in this seat for too long. So this is also for incumbents that have been, you know, sometimes incumbents get comfortable. Um, they, they don't want to go back out and campaign hard. Maybe they've had um, some free rides along the way. You know, every two years, uh, every four years, maybe they don't get an opponent. Maybe they forget about campaigning and what it's like today. And I tell you, it's very, very different today with the social media, the YouTubing, um, there's so many more outlets and, and, and tools in the toolbox to use uh, to become an elected official today. Um, it's, it's not, you know, you, you still have to go out and you have to do the old fashioned door knocking, um, but the social media site and how you can get this message to somebody, um, whether, it's, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or email, um, it's, it's very simple to get the message out there. Um, you know, but if you're looking for a race, and you're thinking about certain races in your area, you're thinking about certain races that you want to run for, please email me. I'd like to uh, talk to you and get your insight on what you're looking to do for the future. And if I could help you out, that would be huge. Thank you for watching today. I'll see you next time.